Welcome to our module on distance learning co-teaching. My name is Mark Helton, and I'm a consultant at the Central Kentucky Educational Cooperative. Please note that we are using the term distance learning to include learning that may be fully at a distance or a blend of online and brick and mortar schools. This module will discuss co-teaching from a distance in both synchronous and asynchronous environments. During a typical school year, we know this quote to be true. However, during a global pandemic and in a distance learning environment, this quote is especially relevant. It's good to take a minute and acknowledge that children are the priority, changes are reality, and collaboration is a strategy that is essential for survival in both face-to-face and virtual environments. Let's take a few minutes to review the definition and rationales for co-teaching. Co-teaching is a framework in which two certified teachers or related professionals jointly deliver instruction, assess, and co-plan for the same classroom, including students with and without disabilities. Typically, a content teacher and a special education teacher partner during in-person learning, with each teacher being equally accountable for every student. It should be noted that the term related professionals may include other certified teachers, such as English learner teachers. However, it does not refer to paraprofessionals. With a shift to virtual learning, co-teaching is an effective model for providing specially designed instruction in distance and hybrid settings and to support universal design for learning. In a distance model, co-teachers collaborate to plan, instruct, assess, and adjust the method of co-teaching based on student needs in a distance setting. So why co-teach? What are the benefits? First, Students with disabilities in a co-taught classroom have access to high-quality core instruction, as well as more individualized teacher attention. Other benefits include positive role models for behavior and academic learning and improve self-esteem, social skills, and peer relationships. Teachers also experience many benefits in a co-teaching partnership. Some of the major benefits supported by research include increased professional satisfaction, development of lifelong friendships, and more opportunities for professional growth. If the co-teaching partnership is strong, teachers are often more creative and energized. Additionally, since both teachers are responsible for instructing and managing behavior, student time on task increases. Co-teaching in a virtual setting can provide teachers with a support system for learning new ways to deliver instruction and an extra set of eyes to monitor students and assist where needed. There are six co-teaching approaches that were developed for in-person instruction. Each of these approaches is discussed more in depth in other modules in this course. To review, the six major models or approaches include one teach, one observe, one teach, one assist, team teaching, alternative teaching, parallel teaching, and station teaching. Let's take a look at each model and discuss some ways to use each one in a distance learning environment. The one teach, one observe model is a low planning approach. This model is used when data collection is needed. During synchronous lessons, one teacher shares the screen to deliver the lesson. The other teacher can take attendance, monitor the chat box for the types of responses, look for time on task, positive to negative interactions, provide feedback, and observe students during the live lesson. In the One Teach One Assist model, the teacher is presenting the lesson live while the other teacher supports students by answering questions, providing feedback, and writing notes on a digital whiteboard. An example is a math teacher demonstrating how to solve a word problem 
using the whiteboard while the second teacher looks over each student's individual or partner work on the digital whiteboard and offers student support through the grid view option. Team teaching is one of the most challenging of the co-teaching models, but can be the most rewarding as both teachers are truly partners in every sense. Distance team teaching occurs when both teachers are equal in presenting and supporting students. Students learn from both teachers at the same time, either synchronously or asynchronously. When this model is used for asynchronous instruction, both teachers should be included in the screencast. Alternative teaching is an approach where both teachers work with a separate group of students based on student need. All students are together, but one group may need more intensive remediation or enrichment and breaks out of the main group with another teacher. For distance learning, breakout rooms could be used to provide the grouped instruction during synchronous learning. For asynchronous learning, each teacher could provide the lesson and materials for their group separately. Remember to reconvene as a whole class after instruction and practice is completed. Alternative teaching is an excellent model for guided reading or math groups in face-to-face, -face, distance, or hybrid learning. When both teachers present the same content or strategy at the same time to separate groups, they are parallel teaching. Teachers can use data to determine student groups, and each teacher provides a session link for their separate designated group. An advantage of this approach is that teachers can guide student learning in different ways for the same skill, depending on the needs of students. This model has flexibility as it can be delivered live or recorded, depending on the depth of the lesson, the skill or strategy being taught, and the needs of the groups. The station teaching model allows co-teachers to teach different content in a small group setting. Each teacher supplies a separate video conference link or uses a separate breakout room. The class is divided into two groups, each group attending a live session with a pre-designated teacher. All students rotate stations and work with both teachers at some point in the lesson. A third station may be independent or conducted asynchronously. This model works very well for gathering formative assessment data. Ideas for station teaching could be one teacher doing a mini lesson, the other teacher completing formative assessments and students working independently on an assignment. Another idea could be one teacher working on basic facts, another on the main lesson, and the other students working independently on an assignment. Planning is the most important part of co-teaching. Please note that there is a separate module on planning contained in this co-teaching series. Communication during planning needs to be open and honest to build a strong relationship. Planning should be equally divided so that one teacher does not feel overburdened. Co-teachers should use their differences to create rigorous lessons to meet the needs of all students. Planning together is integral for lesson success. It gives both teachers confidence to deliver lessons while providing time for both teachers to plan specially designed instruction, including any modifications and accommodations that may be needed. Lesson reflection using informal data, formative assessments, and progress monitoring can help teachers determine if they are being successful and help to determine next steps as co-teachers. Regardless of the teaching platform, Co-planning remains essential to co-teaching success. Virtual planning has the same components as in-person planning, but may require even more intentionality. Since teachers may not be in the same location, they will need to set up a shared lesson plan document for easy accessibility. Common planning time is essential. So with virtual planning, Set up a specific time to meet and discuss the shared lesson plans and to determine the co-teaching model that will be used. Be sure to decide who will complete each task and set timelines. Take good notes 
or record the meeting to review if needed. It's important to clarify roles and responsibilities of each professional. Most importantly, have empathy, compassion, and flexibility with each other. Communication is essential. The planning module contained in this co-teaching series includes links to sample planning templates and forms. Reimagining traditional co-teaching can be simple or intricate, depending on how long you've worked with your co-teacher. Here are some final tips to think about when transitioning from traditional to distance co-teaching. Who is better at technology? Who is better planning? Who loves searching for memes, videos, articles, and other digital resources? Who prefers documentation and taking data? Also, remember to coordinate who will plan synchronous and small group sessions. Embed social emotional learning into the lessons. Create or provide specially designed instruction. Take attendance, grade, respond to student and family correspondence. Thank you for taking time to view this module. And be sure to explore the resources section for additional tools to assist you on your co-teaching journey.